Hello again, Automation Builders. I'm here today to talk about the new and hopefully improved startup level to assist your modding efforts for Automation, the car company tycoon game. This startup level has a few new features with it, and we can consider it in perpetual beta, so you may want to occasionally check our GitHub page for updates if it's been a while since you downloaded it. If you're familiar with the old startup file, then you'll certainly notice some changes. The most obvious is the materials cube has been replaced by this much prettier and much higher poly materials list to help guide you through the modding process. Some materials have been deprecated, for example, cabin, lower, and cargo bounds boxes, since we no longer need those. What remains are what's old, what's new, and mostly what's necessary for making a car, fixture, and rim mods. You may notice materials named something like panel underscore x, and all that means is that the x is the next number in line. You can use a mostly infinite number of materials, but I've just provided a handful of placeholders for you here. If you need more, just make more and continue the numbering scheme. Feel free to rename that last one with a number as needed. The wheel level is mostly unchanged. It still contains the template, but ideally you aren't going to need this anymore, as the rim generator tool that comes in the Automation Tools plugin, which I'll talk about in a near future video, comes with the ability to procedurally generate a wheel template that has the same number of subdivisions as the rim you're making, which is a handy little quality of life feature, so when you add the scale shape key, it'll be a little easier to line it up perfectly. But if you want to keep making wheels the old way, that's fine, and so these tools are still here for you. Likewise, the bounds level is still around. However, as you can see, all that's left are the bonnet and driver camera boxes. You no longer need to use the other bounds boxes in your models, as they'll simply be ignored now as we're using a different method to calculate things like cargo volume or passenger volume. Some new features in the startup file include a few vanilla parts. One of them is the rim mod, which may trip you up since it has modifiers and shape keys, and if you try to just export this normally, it wouldn't work. You wouldn't get the shape keys. But with automation tools, we can now export models with shape keys and modifiers, which is super duper handy for doing non-destructive modeling. And this works for rims, fixtures, and amazingly, car bodies. Automation tools isn't the subject of this video, but it's important to know about the plugin since a lot of the example bits included here rely on automation tools to export successfully. But again, I'll explain how all that works in a near future video. There are some sample fixtures here for you, so if you're here looking to make your first mods, have a look at some of the fixtures to get an idea of how you can model them for automation. For example, a good piece to look at might be this grill UV mesh you can get an idea of how to create an efficient UV mesh that cuts out a clean hole. And there are a couple sample car bodies as well, so you can get an idea of how to set those up and model them with efficient geometry that maintains nice reflections. I have numerous car body modeling videos, but I'll be adding some updates to those as well since the workflow has changed and become a lot more efficient and non-destructive with the addition of the Automation Tools plugin. And that's it, the new startup level. You can snag it on github.com forward slash automation staff, or just follow the links in the video description below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications when the next tutorial video comes out. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.